You cheated. How did I cheat? You cut across the front of row. So did you. I had to. You well, cheated. If we both cheated, it's not cheating, right? I want a rematch. Why? I'll just beat you again. I can't believe I have to race you for this. Ava's your friend. Ah, she's more your friend mm. than mine. But with the potential of being much, much more. Mm. Just leave him. He'll drink if he's thirsty. Listen, Caleb and Ava are wrong for each other. She's going to get hurt. I want you to warn her. You warn her. But Caleb is my friend, too, so I don't want to hurt him. See, I want what's best for everyone. Mm -hmm. And to decide for everyone what the best thing is? Look, if Ava's in love with Caleb, there's nothing you or I can do to change that. You can't make someone love you. Not in that family. Maybe you can. Ava and I aren't like you and Tomas, Kate. I'm not trying to compete with God. So you still have a chance, and I should just put aside my own pain and help you out? It's not unheard of. Ava is perfect for me. She's sweet, she's kind, she's... She doesn't have a selfish bone in her body. She's everything I'm not. Hmm, like Latino? Oh. You know, that could come in real handy, say a career in politics should fall hey, into your lap. please, I'm serious about this. I know, it's kind of scary. You'll talk to her? It's not that scary. Tell you what. I'll race you back to the house. I win, you talk to her. Alex. On your mark. Alex, Luna did not drink. Get set. You should not be running him that hard. Go! Alex! I don't know. Like, is it his leg? No, I, I don't know. I'm gonna get some water, okay? He doesn't need water. Uh, well, then I'll get some help. Alex. He's dead. This animal's had a heart attack. He's four years old. Well, they're not like us, Kate. What gave it away, the extra legs? Kate, I told you not to run him. I did not Just know. Just stop it. He's been a little off his feet lately. Dehydrated. Some of the others, too. When were you going to tell someone? I'm telling you now, Kate. I was keeping an eye on it. Did you water him before he went out? I tried. And he, he wouldn't drink from the lake, either. The water's foul. That's how they got dehydrated. Ground soft on the foothill side, too. Do you think it's from the development? With you breathing down their neck? Most of their work is below us. Could be runoff from the Russell spread. Mm, Russell recycles his runoff. Has for years. Might be a problem up there worth taking a look at, anyway. There's the problem. Pipes are too old, too rusty. 
Doing here? Fixing the pipes. What's wrong with them? Well, they're busted. Why else would I be down here? What's wrong with you? Luna died. Sorry. Who's Luna? What? Alex's horse. What he named his horse? What'd he do that for? You know, two cowboys never name their horses. Why not? You never name what you might have to eat. True. You're disgusting. Mm -hmm. You know what? Go home. Look, I'm still fixing the sink. Well, you can just do that some other time. Look, why don't you cut me some slack? Why should I cut you anything? Because I'm asking you to. Move. <laughs> Move. <laughs> OK. You know what? You never change. Why should I? Because you've been seven for too long. Shut up. OK. Go home. I'm sorry about Luna. Uh-huh. I haven't been out there myself for quite a while. I guess those pipes must be pretty old. Ancients. Thank you. I was so sorry to hear about your wife's passing last month. She hadn't been doing well for a while. Of course, we're going to do everything that we can to help you with your runoff. We want to be good neighbors. Trespassing on my property doesn't sound very neighborly to me. Mr. Russell, you've always irrigated your runoff from your property away from the valley. Yes, ma'am. Always in accordance with the law. So what's different now? The law is different. Some anti-environmental group got the government to relax laws on water reclamation. Got federal money pulled that was used to enforce those laws. So now it's up to us to take care of these things. It's still a law. And it's still your responsibility. And it's still poisoning the water. My responsibility is to survive, Mrs. Wyatt, like every other cattleman in this valley. So you're just going to ignore it? I've managed that runoff for years. It's expensive. And I don't need you or anyone else to tell me what my responsibilities are. <coughs> How's dinner coming? Well, I haven't got a story yet, Dad. We'll get to it. Zach? Caleb's back home. You should stop by. I know he'd love to see you. Yes, ma'am. Why should we pay for George Russell's runoff? It's his responsibility. Oh, I don't think it is anymore. Unless you read something into that letter that I didn't. Well, it's still a law. That's pretty clear. But if the federal government isn't paying to enforce it, technically, he can't be in violation of it. I'd ignore it, too, if I were him. How do we know he didn't kick that pipe loose on purpose? Maybe he's just trying to get us to pay for his new irrigation system. No, no, no. He wouldn't do that. How do we know what he'd do? The man never sets foot off his ranch. Russell's quiet and to himself, but he's honest. He's killing our cattle, Sam. Let's go up there and damn the runoffs ourselves. No, I'm not going to start a war with a man who just lost his wife. We got 700 head we got to keep alive and healthy until springtime. Else everybody in this room goes belly up. That's right, people got Look, Amanda, I'm sorry his wife died, but we've got big money problems, too. Take a dozen home with you. What are you doing here? Don't you have young minds to mold? Yeah, I'm just helping my mom after school a couple days a week. Thank you. Are you sure they're getting fresh? And fattening, no thanks. Coffee's bad enough. Maybe you could take some home to Caleb. I swear he could live on my mother's chudos. He's so funny. Sure, why not? Does he seem different to you now that he's home? Caleb? Obnoxious and brooding as ever. Why? How does he seem to you? Unhappy? Like he's not glad to be back? 
I don't think he is. Not back here, anyway. I just feel like he's being so hard on himself, you know? He never goes out or has any fun. He's... He's just not the same since he's returned. Since he's returned? You know, now that he's back. Ava, Caleb was in prison. You make it sound like he was backpacking through Europe. Gracias. You may go now. Thank you. Hey. Hello. Come mm. Start with me. I know that you and Caleb haven't always gotten along, <sighs> but he needs us right now. He needs his friends. What about Alex? What about him? You know what? You should call him. Call Alex? Call Caleb. Take him out, cheer him up, rock his brooding world. You can do that, you know. Now he's back from Europe. Dinner? I have a huge pork roast I can't eat myself and uh, fresh chudos. And the absolute most greasiest empanadas in San Dimas. Now just try and say no to that. No. I mean, uh, no. Uh, I, of course I can't say no. So, yeah, uh, when? Um, Tuesday night, 7.30? How does that sound? Oh, like a really long time from now. What about, uh, Alex? Alex? Uh, should I bring him? If you want. Sure. Uh, 7.30. 7.30, then. Bye. to come up to the house. We got nothing to talk about. The cooperative is offering to fix your busted water main. The whole thing. Materials, labor, no cost to you. Did you hear what I said? Russell! I don't want your money, and I don't want you on my property. Now get the hell out of here. 